Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today's video is one that I'm so excited about. I've been waiting to do this video for about a week and a half now because I got all this stuff here. I am doing a PLT Pretty Little Thing haul, but this is gonna be not just any boring haul, like I'm not just gonna show you what I got, but in this video, I'm gonna be showing you all the items that I got from Pretty Little Thing and how I would style them for winter. I did a poll on my Instagram asking if you guys wanted me to do a styling haul, showing you guys how I would style some winter basics, essentials, whatever you wanna call it, and you guys said that you really wanted to see it, so that is what I have here. So I stockpiled a bunch of things for this video to show you how I would put outfits together for the winter season. I have sweats, turtlenecks, and a lot of things that I think you're gonna find really useful if you're new here. Hi, my name is Taewon and I do fashion and lifestyle content on YouTube and I don't wanna make this intro any longer than it needs to be. So. Let's get into this video. So the way this video is gonna work is basically I'm gonna show you the item that I got and then I'm gonna show you the try on portion, my first reactions and how I styled it, okay? Okay, so first and foremost, the thing that has been the most fashion essential thing of 2020, that is lava. Leather or pleather, whatever you wanna have it. We prefer pleather, right? And Pretty Little Thing has been basking in the pleather department. They, it's just been everywhere. All over Instagram, all I've seen are girls in PLT pleather pants and tights. So I definitely want to get myself a pair and see if it's something that I would style more than not. And it turns out it is actually amazing. I got a size six in these pleather pants and these are the split hems. And right away, you guys are gonna see, I am 5'6", normally. And a lot of times, things kind of regular style jeans from PLT, if you guys saw my other PLT haul, you know they run a little small for me. However, this ran kind of long. So, and I got the normal, the normal ones, not anything from the tall range, which I really like. And I'm a size six, I got this in a size six, and I was surprised because it's fit a little snug, but I think it's supposed to. It kind of fits like, I would say, rather than pants, which I think is kind of the look they were going for. So I styled a pair of pants with, with a H&M knit top and my leather blazer. And I feel like this would be a really great outfit for the winter time, just because you get so hot when you're indoors and then you go out and you're freezing. So it's always good to have la layering pieces or items that you feel nice and cool in or you can feel nice and warm in in one outfit. It's amazing. All right guys, so this is the outfit. Um, these are the pants that I got from, I shouldn't even call them pants, they're leggings. So these are the leggings that I got with a split hem. They fit pretty well for a size six, which I was pretty surprised about because I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like super tight or what the situation was gonna be, but um, it's legging material, so it fits almost like a legging, but I love the bell bottom detail. So this is kind of how I paired it. I feel like this leather blazers, they keep you so stinking warm during the like the windier days, which is why I paired it with something a little bit more open with a V-neck because I get hot really easily. This knit top from H&M, which I'll also link below. And yeah, so and with my Nike Air Force ones. All right, so the next item that I got is this skirt and it is this tennis skirt. It looks a little overexposed just because of the lights in the room. But guys, everywhere, everywhere, I know you've seen it. Comment it down below where you've seen it. These tennis skirts are basically everywhere. And you would be surprised because it's winter time, so I'm surprised that this is in style now. But I love pairing this with a sweater or in this case, I paired it with a turtleneck, a nice chunky knit turtleneck. And I think the contrast of having something really puffy and warm and wintry on top and pairing that with 
a really cute girly and almost very innocent looking skirt I think looks really good I also went for a more monochromatic look with this so with the white skirt I went with a cream turtleneck <laughs> and I think it kind of pulled it together pretty well in my opinion especially because it looks really innocent really doll like and then you add in some nice grungy combat boots if you're new here you may not know but I love pairing items together that you wouldn't necessarily necessarily see together so wearing a tennis skirt with some combat boots I just think it looks amazing okay so this is how the outfit looks on um, you could tell that the slit goes kind of high a little too high for my taste so I would bring it down a little bit um, I really like it paired with this sweater just because it doesn't this is a very stark white color and with this kind of off-white a little bit on the like on a cream colored shirt it kind of gives you the same kind of monochromatic look where it's off-white and white but you know isn't like wedding dress white if that makes sense this I think is the perfect like girls brunch it's not too hot outside, but like maybe if it's like a sunny winter day, I think this is a really cute outfit, especially with the Doc Martens. Okay, so this next outfit is, again, something that you wouldn't necessarily see together, okay? So I bought this pair of gray joggers, which by the way, if you don't have a nice pair of gray joggers, I would suggest you go and buy yourself a nice pair of gray joggers. Ones, not the ones that you would take to your dog park or that you would exercise in, but ones that you can wear for styling. Because if Rona has not taught us anything, it's that gray joggers are basically the new jeans. <laughs> they are literally amazing and go with everything. You can wear them with a white turtleneck, which you'll see later on. You can wear them with crop tops in the winter or fall time with lots of layers on top. It just has become a wardrobe staple, especially for the colder months. So if you can find yourself a nice pair of gray joggers, hurry up and grab them because I know for sure that they're gonna be sold out everywhere, especially as we get into Black Friday season, if you know what I'm talking about. So I kind of did, again, a matching set kind of look. I actually already own a um, gray sweatshirt, so I wanted to pair it together. And there's, it's, it, it looks kind of like the same shade of gray, but I wasn't mad at the fact that it wasn't the perfect symmetrical shade of gray. However, to make this outfit a little bit more interesting because I mean, we've, it's kind of overdone the whole like matching sweat sets. We did it all throughout quarantine. We did it all throughout summer, even though it was way too hot to be wearing matching sweat sets. But now I wanted to add a little bit of interest and I added a white collar shirt underneath it. Again, going for the more collegiate style and I love the way it looks. I just feel like it looks amazing. However, I got the, the joggers, I sized up one size, which I feel like I should have sized up even more than just one size. So if you want to be extra, extra loose fitting, go up two sizes, if not three. So I don't know if this is a UK size 10, in which case it would be US size eight. But even then, it just it wasn't as loose as I would have liked it to be, is what I'm saying. Okay, so this is the outfit on. I've just tucked the white shirt underneath this sweatshirt. And I obviously, I paired it with my Doc Martens and I'm wearing my uh, Nike socks underneath, which is just kind of peeking through um, because they do fit a little bit, a little bit tighter than I would like it for my thighs area. Yeah. I also don't like how prominent the seam is in the front. I'm like, is it just me? Is it weird or am I just thinking too much into it? But yeah, this is how the outfit looks on. I'm not gonna lie, I really love the idea of wearing sweats and then making it look really good by adding um, a collared shirt on top, especially because the whole like schoolgirl vibe is really in right now and I'm here for it. Obviously, you guys saw with the white skirt that I wore, um, that I really like that the whole idea of making something that looks almost like I heard somebody say the word collegiate but almost something that looks like you would wear it as a uniform to school but making it a little bit more casual so you can wear it during the day if you're going out and about it's cold but you want to layer up and not look like you're bummy you can add a collar shirt underneath a matching sweat set and make it look really good 
by adding some dots and just kind of coordinating it and pulling it together in a more like thought out kind of way. All right, so the next item you should pay a little attention to, only because it was a slight, a slight disappointment, darling. I was disappointed. So this next item that I'm gonna be showing you guys that I got from PLT is this white turtleneck. I love, I love turtlenecks. And even, even though I'm a little disappointed with this item, I do love the fabric of it. And I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more in the try on portion, but the fabric feels so soft. It's almost like a knit fabric. However, for any of my whites, I like them to be a little bit thicker because I don't want you to see through my turtleneck or see through anything that I'm wearing that's white. So I do like the fact that PLT makes stark white items. Like they're so crisp and white, which is always visually so satisfying. I don't know why, but it just, it was a little like the, it was just too thin for, for my liking, to be honest with you. Um, also, I have an awkwardly skinny neck. So the fact that the neck portion of this turtleneck wasn't tight enough is just a huge no-no and it's definitely going up on my Depop. I paired this with a pair of just some nice tight blue jeans and my favorite tweed blazer, which by the way, for those of you that know that I've been trying to figure out what the name of this print is, it's tweed. I love that. Okay, so this is actually the second to last outfit that I'm showing you guys today, and that is this white turtleneck. Obviously, you guys saw um, in that portion uh, that this, remember how I was telling you guys that I'm very particular about my turtlenecks because I have a skinny neck? Well, like this is what I'm talking about. I hate this weird thing that turtlenecks do. Um, there's a little bit of rouging on the side of this turtleneck, but it does nothing for the actual like structure of it. So it's a no for me. I'm kind of like tucking it in in the back to make it look the way I want it to. But if this did go according to plan, uh, this is the outfit that I would have paired it with or what I would pair it with what I am pairing it with. Um, you guys know I have an obsession with blazers. This is the tweed blazer. Um, you guys have seen it on my channel a lot. I love styling this blazer. I think that it's a very beautiful but neutral color. And this white is a very stark white. You can kind of see through it, so I don't know what to do with that. Like I love a white turtleneck, but this is just not flattering for me and my body type and what I'm comfortable for and, and comfortable with. It is a tight bodysuit, so I paired it with some skinny jeans and some thigh high boots and just a very loose and chunky blazer on top. The way I like to think when I'm, especially when I'm layering items for winter, and this is a perfect example of layering. And the best way to not look like a crazy hobo when you're laying a, layering a bunch of things is to wear something really tight underneath and then something loose on top. So it's kind of like not swallowing you, but allows your figure to show through while also like providing you warmth, comfort, and also fashion. So yeah, this is the outfit, and like I said, this white turtleneck is definitely going straight to my Depop because it just it doesn't fit me the way I want it to, so yeah. Okay, so the third outfit today is actually one that I see myself wearing a lot more often um, because I have been obsessed with flannel. So this flannel is actually, this is not what I got from PLT. What I got from PLT is this, um, it's another turtleneck, but this one, this turtleneck is actually amazing. Like it's so beautiful. The fabric itself feels, feels so good. <laughs> the fabric feels so good. It literally just feels like Christmas. Like the only thing I can think of when I feel this is it feels like Christmas. It just, very well done. Um, it is a bodysuit and it has lots of room for the booty, you know, for the big booty girls. Cause sometimes, you know, not everybody's built proportionally, if you know what I'm talking about. I love pieces like this where it's a turtleneck with a racer back because it's conservative with a little bit of interest, you know? And that visual interest is everything. I mean, like that's the whole point of fashion, right? It's that the visual interest of an outfit. Making it something that's a little bit more not so obvious. I really like this and I paired this 
with the gray joggers and the reason why is i wanted this outfit to be a lot more casual like i would wear this when i'm running errands or if i'm just going to grab coffee with a friend or something and you don't want to look too bummy but you also want to be comfortable enough to wear your joggers so i feel like this would be really cute with that i also paired it with this men's flannel i did get this from the thrift store i love love this flannel so much it's in an extra extra large so it's a 2xl um, i highly recommend getting you a pair like this and i wanted to pair it with this just because it has hints of gray so it gives you a little bit of a monotone um, kind of vibe but it also has a little bit of that maroon color which reminds us all that it's fall and it's almost christmas time which gets you so excited it's literally when i tell you christmas is my season halloween couldn't care like Thanksgiving. Okay, I eat good every day. Christmas? It's a different thing. It's a different thing, okay? All right, so this is the outfit. I have it kind of just thrown over my elbows, but obviously if it's like windy or cold, I would wear it like this, and I think it still looks really good. I'm wearing it with my white Air Force ones. Do you guys see what I mean about like the seam on the front? It just... It's giving me such awkward vibes, which I don't know if I really like that, but um, it's comfortable, I'll say this much. It's kind of like a very lightweight pair of joggers. However, to my surprise, guys, I was so worried about this turtleneck because I'm very picky about my turtlenecks. Like they have to be, especially this part, like I don't like anything that makes me look like I'm like a pencil head, if that makes sense. So this turtleneck is the fabric, okay? We'll talk about the fabric and I don't know if you guys can see. It is the most, it's a ribbed material, but it is the softest, most like just luxurious, feeling ever it's so soft so amazing i don't know what this is made out of but it it's done really really well so if you buy anything from this haul buy this turtleneck because it's amazing and i love how it's like a razor like the sleeves kind of go in like this because it accentuates a little bit of your shoulders and your like this part of your body which i think is very flattering it's not it's more modest which i prefer anyways <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys think I do, but I do. Um, it's a little bit more modest and it gives you a little bit of room because if it's a hot day, like I can't stand a turtleneck and being hot at the same time. So this is nice, really cute. So I'm obsessed with this. Like this, this is definitely so far my favorite outfit of the entire haul, to be honest with you. Guys, we have made it to the last outfit. This next outfit, I'm, I'm gonna hype it up, right? Just like, you know those people at um, your Ethiopian wedding that just be like hyping people up, right, like right at the door? All right, no, I'm doing the most right now. No, but this outfit is actually, actually one of my favorite outfits, but it needs a little bit of prefacing. So anything that I can wear with my denim oversized jacket, I'm already obsessed with. However, I got this crop top. I know it's a winter styling haul and I got a crop top however I definitely think that there's a place for crop tops in the winter season and the reason why I say that is because these crop tops are especially when they're not your basic crop top I think they're so beautiful especially if you wear them with high-waisted skinny jeans high-waisted baggy jeans or whatever it just gives you the ability to layer on and still feel warm but also breaks up outfits. It instantly elevates your outfit and makes it look so much more high fashion, in my opinion. So I definitely wanted to get a black crop top because I feel like a, everybody has to have a black crop top. And I definitely think that that is a wardrobe essential. So with that being said, this particular crop top has a lot of a lot of potential, it has a lot of visual interest, and I actually got this crop top because I was inspired by another YouTuber who, she wore it so beautifully, and I don't know if maybe she's a much more smaller chested than I am, but I'm a size, I'm a B, and even then, this was way too tight for me. Like I told you guys, I'm a size four in all of my tops, and this was so stinking tight. Sadly enough, the material also doesn't have a lot of stretch, so it's not like there was a lot of room for me to like stretch it out, if that makes any sense, but 
it was just it was too small I kind of wish I sized up so if you plan on getting this crop top which I definitely highly recommend that you do because it's a beautiful crop top it has this little scoop neck which you'll see in the try on portion which is so gorgeous and it's gonna be flattering for any woman any body type just like this little area right here I think it's so pretty however definitely size up at least one size because the crop was way 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 too crop okay so obviously this is definitely a more dressed up outfit I paired it with some heels because oh god I'm I'm slowly growing in love with these leather pants what the heck I used to be so skeptical of wearing leather because I just thought it was like, I don't know, I just thought it was always kind of inappropriate, but I kind of, I'm kind of in love with it. I'm kind of in love with it. However, <sighs> okay, I know I talked a little bit about it in the other portion. I should have already, but um, guys, it's just, it's a bit, I have a different crop top from PLT and I do love their crop tops because they make up the perfect amount of crop. But this, I literally couldn't even wear a bra with it because it's so cropped that you can see like the bra lining underneath. And I'm just not a big fan of that. This is supposed to be a size four and I wear a size four in all of my tops and a size six in all of my bottoms. And this feels more like a size two. I think it's just a very flattering and beautiful cutout and I love like simple black basics like this because you could pull off a black on black outfit like this. However, it's just, it's not functional for me and I just know that I'm never gonna wear this out. So, because I just don't feel comfortable in it. You know, even now I feel a little self-conscious at how cropped it is because I'm afraid of accidents. So, this is also gonna be on my Depop. However, I'm gonna list it as a size two or fits as a size two even though it claims that it's a size four because I'm a size four in my tops and it should not be like this cropped. You know what I'm saying? So this is the whole outfit, however, so you guys can see I paired it with an oversized denim jacket because there's just something about wearing denim with all black. I'm living for it. I love it, I'm here for it, obsessed. That brings us to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, you should subscribe because next week's video is gonna be all about your wardrobe essentials, wardrobe staples, things that you definitely should have in your closet. I'm gonna be putting links, I'm gonna be sending you options, I'm gonna show you every basic thing that I have in my closet to give you guys ideas of how to pair things together. So, if you wanna see me wearing any of these items or how I style these items in different ways, make sure to go to the description and follow me on Instagram. And yeah, now that you have subscribed and you have followed me on Instagram, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!